If you've ever heard the term shared coordinates and didn't know exactly what it meant, then this video is for you. I'm going to explain the how and then the why. My name is Jesse Dom. I'm a practice and BIM manager teaching you Revit for free. Let's dive in. So we're inside our site project now. If we hover over our linked project and then tab once to get to our grid line, we can click and we can have that selected. Now if we hover over another grid line and tab again and then hold control while we click, now we've got these two elements selected from the linked model. I'm going to go over to the copy to clipboard and paste the line to same place. This means that we now have these two grid lines inside our project, which will come through in the link and it'll make locating the project a lot easier. Let's save the project and now open up another instance of Revit to open up the linked model. Inside our project here, our project base point still reads as zeros. So if I go to the insert tab and click on link Revit, I can click on the first site tutorial. I can try to use by shared coordinates, but we haven't established these yet. So in this case, I'm going to use project base point to project base point. Click open. These elements are now overlapped. Since I have my project base points turned on in the visibility graphics, I can see that I've got coordinates and a true north. Let's go to the 3D view, click on the left tab, and then just move this down to the right level. It doesn't exactly matter where I put it, so long as it's on the right level. If I go back to the ground floor plan, I can see that my linked grids have come through. So if I move this one, and I could actually just move this right to the right location, and now the A grid and the 1 grid are both overlapping. Now I want my project base point to have an accurate location. I can do this two ways. I can go to Manage, Coordinates, and Acquire Coordinates, and I could select this. In my Properties palette, I can see Shared Site. Right now it's not shared, so if I click on this and I select Acquire the Shared Coordinate System, I can hit Reconcile. Now if I select my project base point after hitting Escape, I've got coordinates that are relevant to my project down here. And if you look really close, these will actually be different numbers because what we're seeing right now, if I go to visibility graphics, click on site, expand site, and turn on survey point and click OK, double click the middle mouse button. Now we've got our survey point down here. I have two things selected right now. You can see that I've got the Revit link and the survey point. The reason why it's selected the link as well is because there's actually this two survey points over top of each other. This is the default survey point, and this is my survey point. Go to the visibility graphics, back down to site, turn off the survey point. Click OK, double click the middle mouse button, and we're back to our site. Now the other thing that we did was we changed the elevation of our level. If we double click on our section head, it'll take us to this section. What we're seeing here is... Now the ground level of the site is sitting here at 23.2 meters. The ground level of our house is currently sitting at zero. It looks like it's zero because it's relative to our project base point. If we select our levels and change this level head to shared datum, now this is actually going to use the shared coordinates for our levels. Back on the ground floor plan, there's another thing that happened. We got our project north and our true north from their link. So if I change my orientation to true north, it's going to rotate it same as what it was in the link. Let's change that back to project north. Now this definitely isn't the only way to share coordinates, but this is the most obvious way and clearest way to see what's going on. Let's go to site and turn on our project base point and our internal origin. Click OK. Now the benefit of using this system to get our elevations is because if I delete this, remove the link, go to coordinates, and reset shared coordinates, we have successfully reset. Click OK. Now everything's back down to zero. Our elevations are still relative to zero, even though they're actually still trying to use the shared datum. What this means is I can take this project, reset it back down to zero really easily like I just showed you, then I can link it into a new project, acquire those coordinates, and have a whole different set of information. This makes reusing the project super easy. There's nothing worse than opening up a project where the levels have been moved all the way up to a random number and your project base point is sitting way down somewhere else. And when you go to try to apply that project inside a new project and its heights are all over the place and then you have to move the entire building down and somebody hasn't set things up properly and making it really hard to work with. <sighs> Please. This can be really simple. While we're here, let's go to our ground floor. Let's click on these elevations and let's change the 3D extent of these levels. So that's the open circle here. If we drag this all the way back, now if you go to the 3D, you can see that these levels have actually extended 
Inside our section, we moved only the 2D extent of the level because this is the 3D extent. So if I change this, I can drag this to be wherever I want, and it's only going to change it in this view. But if I drag this 3D circle, then this one's actually going to be changing the extent of the whole level in all the different views that you have. Let's undo the resetting of shared coordinates. Let's go back to 3D, go to Insert, Link Revit, First Height, First Sight Tutorial, and let's use the shared coordinates. Click Open. And now that'll come into the same location. Let's go back to there and extend these levels back out. And there you have it. We have a consistent project north, true north, elevations, and coordinates between our site and our house. Please like these videos, subscribe so that you can get even more great content. See you next time.